Galatians 1 verse 8. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which have been preached unto you, let him be accursed. Verse 9. And we, as we said before, so I say again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that which you have received, let him be accursed. Now what he's saying here comes from a heart of absolute passion. And he is now actually giving them a view on how they should see the preacher that brings forth any other gospel than Christ and him resurrected, where in their ears no more Jew, no more Gentile, where there is no referring back to old Judaism customs or the following of the law or any of the Jewish customs, where it is, where there's no need for circumcision. So Paul comes and he says, if the gospel that someone preaches to you is one wherein you have to be circumcised to become part of the family of God, where there is two families, the inner circle and the outer circles, the inner Jewish circle and the outer Gentile circle, wherein the Gentiles do receive Christ as their Savior, but that, they, that the Savior is their Savior once they become Jews, once they are circumcised and then follow after the customs of Moses. You need to remember that these people went and they preached to Christians, people that has already believed, and then said to them, the only seal that you can have, knowing for sure that salvation will work for you, is if you are circumcised and then follow the customs of Moses. Paul called this basically an, an ending of the power of the gospel in the life of a person that would believe such a message. And he says that the person that brings a gospel, any other gospel than the message of the resurrection of Jesus, where Jesus died, where he was raised, wherein the old man has died, where there's no more Jew or Gentile, but wherein Christ is now the Messiah over sin and death, bringing forth a brand new kingdom, manifesting the life of God in this world. Any person that preaches anything but that is not preaching the grace of God, and he should be seen as accursed. Now when he's talking about uh, being accursed, he's referring back to the Old Testament concept of what it means to be accursed. Accursed meant to be hanging on a tree. And I want to explain to you what that means quickly. The Jewish way of execution when somebody would commit a crime worthy of death would be stoning. And then if it was really bad, very, very bad, after stoning, after dying, because this person was worthy of death, uh, and to show that he is actually worthy of a dis disgraceful death, because he is the worst of all sinners, that person's body, his corpse would be taken and then hanged on a tree for that day and then buried the same day. It was not allowed to hang on that tree until the next day. So what was actually happening was uh, an example was made out of him. A cursed life was portrayed where he would be stoned and then after that hanged on a tree where everybody would look at him with greatest disgust. And that is what he's saying here. When you look at somebody that preaches any other gospel, I want you to know that that person is, worse, is, is the worst sinner. He is a person that is absolutely cursed. You should look at his life as an absolute cursed life equal to what was understood in the old as a person that was hanging on a tree uh, after his execution where you could look at that desperate death that he was dying or a humiliating death, absolute humiliation, something that you never would want in your life, something that you would never want close to you, an absolute disgrace. And that is the strong words that the Apostle Paul is using for those that are troubling them. You need to understand that what Paul had in mind here, and I was, as I was saying, 
he was already, it was already in the back of his mind when he was talking about them being troubled. And the whole, the whole emphasis of this letter, the whole underlying anguish, I can call it, in the heart of Paul is, what's going to happen if these people are going back to the law? They are going to find the old, present, evil world starting to manifest in their lives again. And not the blessed uh, world of the reign of the Messiah, which is flooded with love and peace and kindness and eternal life. But they are going back to that old cursed life. That's why he wants them to know that those who preach that message, any other message but the message of grace, should be seen as accursed. And if you would then receive a message from, that, from such a cursed person, you might just as well know that you are partaking of that cursed life.